Good morning. I get stuck. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Sorry, I'm gonna close my email out so we don't get those ding, ding, dings. Okay, how are you? Today is Friday. I am so excited that it's Friday. Um, I don't know why. Most of the days are the same, but it's just exciting that it's Friday. We made it through another week of this crazy, weird time. So good job. Keep it up. All right, we are going to do our morning message. We're going to review sight words, sounds, and we are going to um, do some counting. We're going to practice some countings with bundles and counting on. Okay, we haven't done that in a little bit. I want to take a moment to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Here we go. April 24th, 2020. Good morning. Today is Friday. Can we please have a cookie? I will see what she says. It will be a great day. I can and I will. Love, Mrs. Forrester. Okay, we have three new words this week. Three new words. One of them is this word. Probably not the word you thought I was gonna show you. What is this word? You're right, it's please. Everybody, what's this word? Please, everybody spell it. P-L-E-A-S-E, -E. please. Good. What, oh, I'm sorry, we have to circle it. I was moving on off my game. So we have please, do I have please on my board? Yeah, I said, can we please have a cookie? Yum. Maybe I'll make some cookies today. That'd be a fun Friday activity. Please. Can we please have a cookie? What's this word? Can you see it? Sorry. It's good. Awesome. Everybody, what's this word? Everybody spell it. G-O-O-D. Good. Every single day we've had good on our board all the way up here. Good morning. We'd say it at the door. We'd say it in the gym. We'd say it during morning meeting. All right, last word. What is this word? You're right, it's say. Do I have say on my board today? I kind of do. I have say right here, right? I said, I will see what she says. It's say with an S. And I chose to do that today because I wanted to point something out to you. Say, we, we've been talking kind of about adding S's to the end of our words, adding endings like look to looks, right? Dog to dogs. Letting that one letter at the end not throw it off, but says, it's not says, it's I will see what she says. And this is say, sorry, say. So it's kind of on our board today. It just has an S, okay? And I just wanted to point that out to you this morning. Okay, and I'm just gonna underline it like that since it's only kind of on board. Okay, let's review all of our words. Are you ready? Here we go, ears on. Must, must, M-U-S-T, must. R, R, O-U-R, R. -R New, new, N-E-W, new. Funny, <laughs> oh, funny, F-U-N-N-Y, funny. Ride, ride, R-I-D-E, ride. Down, down, D-O-W-N, down. Get, get, G-E-T, get, jump, jump, J-U-M-P, jump, she, she, S-H-E, she, will, will, W-I-L-L, -L, will, find, Find, F-I-N-D, find. Little, little, L-I-T-T-L-E, little. Eat, 
eat, e a t, eat. Now, now, n o w, now. Say, say, s a y, say. Good, good, g o o d, good. Last one, please, please. P L E A S E. Please. Ears off. All right. Good work. Let's find some punctuation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? What is this? Period. Where are my periods at today? Yeah, there's one after Friday. Mm-hmm, that's not the only one today. There's one after day. And there's one smushed right here. There he is, you can't even tell that I circled it. Sorry about that. All right, what's this one called? A question mark. Did I ask you a question on the board today? I sure did. I said, can we please have a cookie? Should I circle it? I probably should. Can we please have a cookie? And then I said, we'll see what she says. I don't know who she is, but we'll see what she says. What's that called? It's an exclamation point. You are correct. Do I have an exclamation point? I only have one today. I can and I will down there. That's funny. Okay. Can we say exclamation point one more time? Exclamation point. Good. Okay. Keeping it moving and a grooving. Days. Uh, we've been home. Here we go. Yesterday was day 26. No, it was day 27. So today should be 28. Sorry, I cannot keep track of these. And I just told you the answer. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't catch it. Yesterday was day 27. So we had two bundles. Two bundles of pencils, so 10, 20. And then we had seven single straws. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then today would be day 20, it would be day 28. And I'm gonna put my pinky red pencil into the pile and put it into the cup. So it's 27. We have two bundles and seven singles. How many days until, it's not 27, it's 28. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys, I am so sorry. I'm so stuck on it being day 27. But if I have seven, right? I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! If I have seven and I add one more, that makes 28. Oh my goodness, it's day 28, Friday, April 24th, day 28 of distance learning. I don't know what's throwing me off, but something's throwing me off. Day 28, so. Now what do I ask you? Oh, how many days until we get our bundle? We have eight singles and we need 10. How many until we get our bundle? Eight, nine, 10. Two more, two more until we get our bundle. Good work. All right, even with me throwing you off, Sorry about that, I don't know. I even have it in front of me. How many times did I look at that? Probably looked at the wrong day. Day 28. I know how many days we're, we're gonna be doing this. I've mapped it out. Do you wanna know? Should I tell you? I'm gonna wait. Do you wanna know? Do you not wanna know? I bet I have some mixed feelings, some mixed opinions. Let's see. We are gonna do, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll let you know when we get closer. I'll tell you when it's our last bundle. How about that? Okay, let's do our sounds. Are you ready? Ears on. H, ha, hat. G, ga, game. J, ja, jug. 
D da dog. S snake. N nut. T ta top. P pa pan. Viva van. R rat. L la lamp. M man. B ba bat. A, a apple. C ka cat. E a ed. Y ya yellow. O a octopus. U a up. I a itch. X x fox. K ka kite. F for fun. Q qua queen. Z za zebra. W wa wind. Good job. Ears off. Okay. Today we are going to let me get this together and show you the worksheet. We are going to practice counting. Share screen. Make it to where you can see it. Okay, we are going to do counting sticks. It says directions, count the number of sticks in each box. Cut and paste the number next to the sticks. So this is a bundle of sticks. There are 10 in that bundle. So we're gonna start at 10 and count forward and then I'll put the number in the box, okay? So. Let's count together. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I have 15. Sorry, I gotta get my 15. Oh, that is a highlighter. That is not what we want. I thought it would be a thick marker. Okay, 15 sticks in that box. All right, let's go to the next one and pretend like that 15 isn't there. <laughs> oh, I'm making myself laugh. Okay, 10, let's count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. We know that there's gonna be a one out front. What number goes after it? A seven, good. Okay, let's keep going. 10, 11, 12. One, what number makes a 12? A one and a, a one and a two, good. Now make sure that your one comes first and your two comes after it. Okay, let's count some more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, a one and a what number? An eight makes 18, good. Okay, next one. There's a bundle of 10, 11, 12, 13. What number makes a 13? A one and a three, good. Okay, next one, right next to the funny 15. We've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Are you counting with me at home? 17, 18, 19. Oh, you thought we were there. 19, what is 19? A one and a, a one and a nine, good. I, you might have noticed I started drawing lines. That's because it's kind of hard for me to see. If you notice that my face in the small box is getting bigger, it's because I'm trying to look closer because they really mushed these sticks together. So it's okay to draw on your papers, to move your counters when you're counting. That's what we want you to do. So I'm gonna start modeling that. Okay, so we have 10 and one would be 11. 
All right, next one, here we go. 10, count with me. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. A 16 is a one and a six. Good. Okay, <gasps> look at the next one, friends. There are two bundles. How do we count that? One, two, it's just a two. We have two, we have two sticks. No, we don't have two sticks. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? We have two bundles and you're telling me that the answer is not two. Oh, count by tens? Okay, 10, 20. <gasps> we did it, 10, 20. Two bundles is 20 sticks. Good job. Okay, last one. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good, 14. All right, we did it. Let me clear it out. I think if I do stop, it clears it away. We did it. We counted on, oh, no, that's okay. We counted on, um, we started with a bundle and we counted forward. Some of you might be thinking, that was easy peasy. Some of you might be like, oh, that was kind of a challenge. Counting forward from a number is something that you need to be doing. So, of course, we can't always start in the teens if you want to kind of challenge yourself. You could ask your adult at home or your big sibling at home to say, give me a number. Maybe they give you 45 and you count three more numbers after 45. So 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, or maybe you go all the way to 100. But that is a skill. We had already been working on it when I'd pull you over to test. We had already been working on it. But if you want to practice, that is certainly something that you can do at home, okay? Maybe while you're coloring a picture or doing the dishes, um, making dinner, that's a good time to practice your counting, okay? Remember, you've got to be able to count to 100 by the end of the year, which is May 15th, okay? So a lot of you had already been able to get there. Some of you were still working on it, and that's okay. We really struggle at the transitions, at the... 49, 50. So I want you practicing your counting at home, okay? I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you make good choices. <gasps> we haven't reviewed our rules in I don't know how long. Let's do that to close out our lesson. Are you ready? Rule one, make smart choices. Rule two and three are raise your hand. Rule four, wait. What was rule one? Rule one, follow directions quickly. There we go, rule four, make smart choices. And rule five, make your dear teacher happy. Whew. Sorry friends, I got really off there. Okay, so I hope you follow directions quickly, make smart choices and make your dear teacher happy, whoever your dear teacher at home may be. I miss you, have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Bye friends.